Hey, welcome to The Process. My name is Dr. John Bush. Continuing my deep, deep look at Counts Over Median, a weekly consistency tool, versus uh, ADPs and season-long projections, tight ends. Okay, already done wide receivers. Check that out. Check those lessons. Science of Fantasy Football dot com wake up folks check it out uh philosophy uh there it is you can read it if you want i'll post uh links to the uh static images here is an explanation of counts over median and example here are some deeper definitions. I look at uh, positional rank. That's the current ranking of the player within their positional group based on ADP late July or early August. ADP, of course, overall ADP, where the player falls with everybody, quarterbacks, tight ends, uh, wide receivers, running backs, etc. Comp percent counts over median by games played in 2022. Uh, if you're curious about uh, the previous years, that data is up in my other uh, COM lessons. Check it out. I scale this metric on a scale of 100 best to zero. So we can start comparing uh, consistency with positional ADP scale value from the highest, of course, uh, I guess that'd be Justin Jefferson if we were looking at wide receivers there, uh, but we're looking at tight ends. So I guess Kelsey would be 100 uh, to zero. And then finally, projections scaled on a scale of, I guess Kelsey would have the highest projections at 100 to zero. So now we can compare, and it's just a simple con uh, subtraction of scaled comms versus ADP scaled. What's the difference? And versus rank uh, projection differences. So right away with some colorization, we're able to spot uh, those that are kind of uh, going earlier than maybe they should or later than they should, right? That's the whole point is trying to compare the value. And again, this is looking at tight ends, just to let you know. I will actually look at all this data within teams. So that's going to be my final take at all this for this year, because I got 50 drafts to do here in August. So uh, TikTok, my time is running out. So let's start. Uh, here is the first uh, image here. Uh, uh, positional ranking, RK, okay, the top 12 tight ends. The total ADP, and you can see right away, Kelsey, and this is in FFPC uh, tight end premium situations in a standard or a PPR. Kelsey probably won't go as high as three. Uh, but anyway, uh, according to the public, Andrews, is at basically 20, Hawkinson's at 30, Kittle's at 44, Pitts 50, Goddard 53, Waller 57, and then another break uh, with Ingram, Fryermuth, Njoku, and then another break, Chiggy and Schultz right there. So that is the tiers according to the publics, not my tiers, just their tiers. Right, you gonna be climbing some tears if you don't, if you just, you know, listen to the public. Right, you got to beat the public, or at least beat your league mates. Okay, so player, position, team, the bye week. Here is my consistency in 2022. Kelsey, uh, 94 percent. So basically, was about 15 games out of 16. He was above the median for tight ends. So he was just the monster tight end here, and the second best was Goddard, okay? You're saying, well, hold it, Goddard's not second. That Hey, that's the whole point, right? Is to find somebody like Goddard who's going cheaper 
than others, right? And uh, Andrews at 60, Hawkinson basically 60, uh, Kittle Kettle at 53, Pitts at 30. Folks, I'm, he may bounce back to whatever, but uh, not with me. Waller's about the 50th range. And interesting, there's a break in Ingram's at the 50th, Fryermuth and the Joko. So it seems to me that the public is should collapse these two and these by just looking at the com would all fuse together and Pitts would actually be thrown out into this group. So Pitts is in the wrong place by comps. And then I scale it one to uh, zero to 100. Uh, Kelsey's best. Goddard, of course, is second. And then you can look kind of a string of these next five or six, really. So that's very intriguing. Uh, I'm not taking Andrews. Too expensive. Hawkinson, pretty expensive. Kettle, yeah. I'm looking at Goddard as my, my hero. And then I'm probably even looking, if I miss him and Kelsey, then I'm probably fishing with Firemouth, Ingram, uh, you know, maybe Waller at this point. I guess Hawkinson, but but you're not going. He's not going to slip that late. This is what the public thinks. This is the projections for the year, and you know, Goddard doesn't come out bad. Projection wise, he doesn't really. But look at his value compared to Andrews. So once again, just looking at scaled projections. So if you subtract. Goddard's a positive three. That's the best of all there. And Kelsey is Kelsey, right? He's second. And then a lot of negatives. And the best as far as comparison is Najoku and Firemuth are tied uh, versus comms. And look at projections. Plus seven, plus 12. Goddard, of course, plus 26. Kelsey's Kelsey. So, uh, that's kind of what I'm looking at early August. I'm going into redrafts. Uh, Goddard's getting my attention and maybe Fryermouth. Uh, I'm not sold on the Joku, but could be, you know, if he drops late enough here. Okay, so that's that. If you're in a deep uh, uh, tight end, then here is the next crew. Okay, who jumps out? Uh, Denver guy, uh, uh, Dolchis, Everett at 50%, Dawson Knox at 53 And you know, uh, I know he's got competition, so that's a little tricky. I, I agree. Higby at 47. Here is the primetime deep sleeper, Ertz. 80%, folks, when he played. I know he got injured. When he played, okay, look at his positive 44, best of all the tight ends, if the calm is real. And remember, look at my data, comms tend to be sticky across year to year and predictive by statistical analysis. Again, that's groups, not individuals, right? So you need to understand that in, in stats. But there, I mean, you could wait so late. He's, he's just a great tight end. Two, three type, just money in your pocket. I, I really think if these comms are real. And you can see some others that might be some bargains here for you. I'll let you figure that out. And then here's the, the deepest of the deep here. Uh, Moreau might be something. Bellinger might be something. You know, Hooper. I mean, these are free. So, you know, just. Whatever you need to pick here. Uh, nobody really, I mean, I think I'd rather take Ertz and all these, obviously, but, you know, if you're, if you, if you like to have four tight ends, okay, you can pick these. Okay, that didn't take a lot of time at all, did it? Woo woo. Uh, nine minutes short video lesson, but hey, it is what it is. Come back, uh, I'll post this up and we'll move on. We're having fun. We're going to go, who's next? Running backs. Okay, we'll do a deep dive running backs. Woo, woo.